Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3, The Convergence. Previously, we fully cleared out the Catacombs of Carthus. Well, almost. We still have to get to the path to the Lava Lake, and that's exactly what we're going to do now. Yeah, the Catacombs, mostly the same. Some nice quality of life changes with nice little gates that were horizontal so I could walk across gaps, but... A High Lord Walnir was also fun to fight too. He was brand new. They changed him a lot for this mod. Still not quite sure how I feel about it. I did like the original fight for the spectacle, you know? Anyway, without further ado... Um? Yeah, I think our best option is to go here to Irithyll and then backtrack just a bit. So let's do that. Dragon fists. I found that, didn't I? Yeah, I turned my hands into dragons. That was... that was neat. Good little thing for pyromancers. Wait! Leviathan Axe? Okay, I couldn't read that description in time, but... Is it... Did they... Did they put the Leviathan Axe from God of War into this? That'd be awesome. Oh, man. Oh, but Irithyll's so cool, though. No, I gotta go to the lava lake. I think I'm... Screw it. My heart yearns for Irithyll. <laughs> We're going here. The lava lake can wait. It's not going anywhere. Oh. There are dudes there. Behold, my final flash. Boop. Damn. Oh. Right, I suppose I should, um... Crap. I actually need to reset. I need to set at a bonfire. I completely forgot my new strategy for light magic. I need to attune a spell and place teleport real quick with cast light. Now I have a 10% permanent increase to my damage for lightning. And I sit once more, reattune the old spell. Right, that'll last until I die, so good on me. Okay, now let's see this final flash. Oh. Where'd the dude even go? Huh. Well, okay. So I got my teleport, got a nice heal. Yeah, we're we're more than equipped to go ahead here. Oh! Oh that oh! Oh! Hmm. This presents a problem. Uh oh, wait! Okay, so hear me out. I did not think that would reach me. Okay, um, so there's a dragon, and it's, um, uh... ooh, okay, that, that dude's still there, um, well, this is a bit of a pain in the ass, isn't it? Okay, a tune spell, cast light, cast... Reattune teleport. I quite imagine that teleport will be very handy here. Um. Right. Let's re ember up. Got 14 left. Though, Lord knows it won't help me survive if I do get hit by that breath again. I assume I need to take cover. You. Okay. Only room for one. Okay. Cover has been taken. Oh, that's a... Oh, you're breathing fast? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Wow. Take a deeper breath, man. This dragon is hyperventilating. 
<laughs> um. Oh, there's an item. Okay, I'm not sure what I'd do if I didn't have teleport. Oh my god. Surreal? Yep. Okay, that just... That just flat out does not seem doable without teleport. What the hell is this? Alright. Next pass round, we're going. Hey, get back here, you coward! Oh. Okay, well. I hope we can get revenge on that frost dragon. Man. <laughs> so that was... That was definitely a thing that just happened, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, it's about time I got my ass handed to me. That felt good, kinda. Just to just... Just stand there. And just watch my death approach. It was kind of funny. In hindsight. Yeah. Tragedy plus time equals comedy. Blooming blue blossoms. Oh, now that's nice. I... I should really... Actually get around to using those, but they're still a bit too pricey for my tastes. I want to level up. Boost my intelligence, get more spells. So we're at 55. I've yet to see a spell that requires 60. Not for aromancy or for light sorcery. But who knows, maybe traditional sorcery will show that there's something for 60. Oh, there's a big dude. Are you safe from here? Yeah. Alright. Wow. Okay. Is that all you can manage? Really? Well, <laughs> I'm the superior spellcaster. This has really gotten ridiculous. We're at the point where I can just kind of look at things and they die. Oh, so this gate is already torn up. Oh, there's a bonfire. Now that's convenient. Excellent. So the staircase... Yeah, okay. There's a ladder I can kick down. I think that... I want to say that ladder is new, but... Well, that's going to be a really short shortcut because we'll actually get to it just around this corner. Like, it literally just goes up the street and we're there. Wait, what? Oh, right! This part on the side. Ow. That's quite enough. Oh my god. You need to take a breath too? Seriously? I think they may have... They may have up, up the aggression on these guys. Well, let's patch ourselves up. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Can preserve our Estus. Not that we had any trouble with it before. Anything around the corner? Yes. Oh, Twinkling Tide Knight. I think I needed five to fully upgrade my light sword here, though. Yes. Mmm. Well, I was about to say I might want to actually think about conserving my Twinkling. Uh, for when I eventually want to get a weapon for a magic sorcery setup. Oh no. Oh, I reckon. Oh no. That dragon's back! Oh no! Okay, well. You safe from here? Looks like it. Okay. Are we safe around this corner? Huh? Looks like it. Okay. Go, 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 go. Should be safe here. Maybe. Go, go, go. Teleport. Oh my god. Cersei, what would you do without this spell? 
after you, buddy. Oh, hey. Worth it. Okay. Later. Ooh. No. Don't don't kill me. That would be highly embarrassing. Okay. Things are happening. <laughs> Just go. Okay. Shortcut. Kick. Okay. Now let's recoup a bit. Okay. Made some space. Made some progress. I think there was a third that was chasing me, but I might have backed off. That was wise of it. Returning axe. Well, that sounds a lot like the Leviathan axe. What the... Okay, pure magic. Skills with intelligence. I... Yeah, this is... This is for me. Um... Wow, maybe if all else fails, I could use this as my magic sorcerer weapon. Throwing it, but have it return to your possession immediately. I got, I got to see this. Let's test it out. Yep, that's an axe. Move set isn't too impressive. Oh, that's so slow. Okay, this better impress me. <laughs> They're clearly using the throw javelin animation, but the way it turns blue and magic as it spins, oh, that's pretty good. Nice. Yeah, th that's pretty. I'll have to test out its damage, actually. Who knows? Maybe the weapon art on it is super powerful. Okay. Now, let's backtrack quite a bit. A lot of items I missed. So we're still getting large shards, huh? No chunks? I feel like usually you get chunks around this part. Maybe. Oh. Well, if there was a third dude, they're gone. Oh, you went down there! Yeah, you can just die. Frozen Tear. That screams Cryomancy Covenant. Where is it? The Forlorn Dissenters. <gasps> Forlorn. Uh, is that like the... The Reaper dudes from... Scholar of the First Sin? How do they... Did this mod make them all about cryomancy? That's that's a bit interesting. Ooh. Closer to being a abyss flavored, really. Okay. Yeah. If there is a cryo covenant. It's probably either here or... well, actually... No, you know what? It might be in the Painted World DLC. Yeah. The Great Betrayal of the Painted Worlds, outside of time. May oh yeah, okay. Maybe the Cryomancy Covenant is in the Painted World. Well, I'm not exactly in a rush to go find it. We're not a Cryomancer. Oh, I was out of stamina from sprinting. Uh, you see, I've been playing a lot, a lot, a lot of Elden Rings, so the muscle memory and habits from that are rubbing off. It's yet to get me killed, though, so... Let's return up here. Okay, is there an item around this corner? Looks suspicious. Yes! <laughs> I have a sense for these things. You play games as long as I have. I wonder how many items I've actually missed. God, for every item I miss, it could be a spell scroll. For... Oh! What? Okay, that's... an entirely new path, but... 
Where the hell does that go? Like my mental map, right inside this door, there's an elevator that takes you down to the streets that should be right down here. And yeah, you come out of the cathedral thing on the right there, that building at the end. You never even... Yeah, and it goes down here and goes up the street and up there, and that circles around to the left up there. Where does this go? Oh. Invisible assholes. Somewhere around here. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Okay, you'll find me. Ouch. Okay, let's patch up. Watch for new attackers. They're inflicting curse. That's kind of scary. Okay, Arcane Crystal. Oh! This is a ladder down! Wait, what? That's a pitiful ladder. It's really just this pocket with an enemy and item in it. <laughs> Whoa! Knights remains for free just like that? The hell? Okay, I won't complain. Get some mileage out of that later. Oh, your, you're a big dude. Your staff is icy and dark and not fiery. That is new. Okay, how are you, how are you gonna hold up to this? Oh, you, you don't have too much HP. Ooh. Interesting. Where the hell am I going? This is... This, sh this is shockingly new. Pun intended. Oh. Crap. <laughs> Wait, I hear things. Ooh. Okay, the damage here is scary. <laughs> oh. That ladder goes down there, huh? That might be a dead end. Well, while we're here, I have the sight line. Come on. Nice. Absolutely kill these things at range. I'm kind of squishy. I have entered into glass cannon range, and my god, I have not been neglecting Vigor too much. I have 26 and I stay embered. Maybe, yeah, maybe I did have the right idea focusing on... Ooh! Uh, maybe I did have the right idea focusing on Vigor when leveling up for now. Arachnid Spear! Hurl Spear. Inflicts poison! Ooh, this... Wow, that looks really good for druids. Commissioned by... By Kaimar. I gotta see this. I do love me a good spear. Yo. It's like the... The legs of it become the point. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's... That's a spear. Okay, if there's any... Magical glowy effect on it when the weapon art is active... I'm not seeing it, because I don't have enough faith. Okay. No shenanigans, please. Our soul. Our bone. Proof of a Concord kept. Wait, so the Dark Moons are in this? What the hell would their... What would they give? The Dark Moons. What do you buy with them? Where the hell's the ear? Oh, there it is. Um, the knights called the Blades of the Dark Moon punish the guilt-soaked defenders of the gods and take this as proof of their conquest. Um, 
Yeah, Dark Sun, Gwendolyn, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that doesn't actually tell me what this covenant is about. Okay, presumably, you still access it through the nice lady at the top of the Church of Yorshka. That's a dude. I'm just going to kill them from here. That's a beefy dude? That's a dumb beefy dude. Hey now. Don't mind me. I'd feel really bad about cheesing this if it was a boss, but you're just a regular enemy. We take these. <laughs> eh, I'll tell you what, I'll pop on over, finish you off with a melee blow. How about that? Yeah, okay, I assume there was a ladder here I missed. I, wow, I didn't actually see this on my first go through. Hello. You're a greater enemy, aren't you? Well, okay then. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll actually fight this thing for real on my melee build, eventually. Okay. God, I need to think about what shell I want to buy then. Well, actually, I can... You know what? I can spend greater souls on Titanite slabs. Maybe I should save it for that. Well, either way. Looks like this path has ended. So this is really all there is here. Just this dead end. This, wow, this entirely brand new little pocket here on the roofs. Entirely new level design, huh? Boy, that's... Wait. Wait a second. I'm not done. There's a ladder right there. Ooh! I am glad I took a second look. Holy crap. I'm still enchanted. No, I'm not. Okay. Ladder keeps going. Frozen tear. Oh, this goes... This goes to the streets. No. We'll get there organically through the actual route through the level. I don't want to confuse myself. If I just stick to what I know, I'll have an easier time remembering what I've done. No? So we'll pop right back. And I think there are a few big enemies waiting for us ahead. Oh! Item dropped. Just a dark gem. God, teleport's cool. Oh, those enemies are gone, which means they went out a walking. Hey. Hey now. Get back here. There, yeah, there you are. Okay, we'll take out the small ones. And so far as they can be considered small, they tower over me. Okay, finish ya. Oh, I got a Estus Flask charge back, I think. That's what that sound was. So that should enter into the Church of Yorshka. Yeah, I see the tower. Uh, there should be a dead end through here. Oh, the Armor of Favor! Wait, couldn't we already buy this from a merchant? I remember going like, oh, that's cute. They made the stats for equipping it uh, boost the same stuff as the Ring of Favor. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Maybe I just saw this in a loading screen. Vigor, Vitality, and Endurance. Not bad for a melee build, though at this point I assume a melee build would already be using Covenant Armor. Uh, why do I feel like there was a hidden wall? Or was a hidden wall right here? I think they already popped the fake wall. Alright. Oh, you're still here. 
rude. You, sir, are a butt. That's why I kill you from here. And this door should be locked. Yeah, it doesn't open from the side. Oh, hello. Neener, neener, you can't reach me. <laughs> get a load of these losers. <laughs> you can't... That you can't get me. <laughs> oh, didn't see you. Okay, buddy. Let's pop an enchant. Oh no, right behind you. That's the fake wall I was thinking of. Well, I just ate that, didn't I? Oh, that's nice. When I hit them with my enchant, I guess even though they blocked it with a shield, the enchant still goes through. Inflicts a damage over time effect. Fire Witch Armor. Let's have a look at that. Attunement. Really? Huh. I would think they would boost dark damage by a little bit, but... Eh. Yeah, there it is. Pontiff Knight, Great Scythe. Why do I hear things? Did someone drop down? I think it's someone above me. I don't think I have anything to worry about. Frost. Create a bone-chilling frost with each swing of the Great Scythe that causes a temporary frost effect. Hmm. High dex requirement, that's for sure. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, you did drop down. Someone's eager to fight me. Yeah, block that all you want. You have unrelenting force. What the hell? Oh, that's... Okay, I thought something w was weird about that item out there, but it's just, like, uh, obscured by the knee. I thought it had, like, a black core. I was like, what the hell is that? But, no. Just a knee. Or some miscellaneous limb. Stop. Star of Despair. Oh, that's a neat name. Okay, yeah. Just dark. So, yeah, I guess they're all using dark instead of fire. That is much more thematically appropriate, I gotta say. Okay. Enter into the church. Oh, there's an item. Nearly missed it. I wonder if Creighton is still here. And uh, speaking of NPCs, if there's... Oh. Yeah, I don't think Henri's gonna be here, guys. I don't think Henri's in this mo mod. Ow! There we go. Yeah, these things, they really do pack a punch at this point. Oh! Green? Green! Tome of Nature. Oh, that's awesome. So I can buy new druid spells. Huh. The most advanced druidic teachings. Well, that'll be good to look at. That's a chard. Hello? Okay, um... So the statue of the person in disguise isn't there. And, yeah. I don't, I don't think Henri's here. Nor is there a bonfire, actually. Concord. Ring of Manus. Oh, game, if you're gonna invoke that name, this better be good. Boost dark damage by 15. Okay, my ring is boosting lightning damage by 10%. I need one, I need me one of those. Damn. 
Who does a statue depict? Can't even see the face. I mean, okay, well, this is the Church of Yorshka, so it's probably Yorshka. Doi. <laughs> okay. Uh, up here. Now, this is a little thing you just hop down to once you... Ooh. The hell? That looks like the thing that teleported me to Arc Dragon Peak. Travel to top of tower! Yeah, alright, I can just hop right back down, I think. Yeah. Ooh. Miracle. Okay. Yes. Yes, this is exactly where I thought it would be. Good, good. So this is the prison tower, yes. Um, hey, Yorshka, what's up? Name thyself, stranger. Zephyr. I am Yorshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knights. Alright, new what covenant. Then? Um, I don't know how my character knows what the Dark Moon loyalty too. stance is, but... Very well. I will... New covenant joined. God, our arms are so Thus goddamn skinny. Far. If to become a blade, then I... Again, I do skip dialogue for old NPCs. I only just want to see Dark new stuff here. Of the, the Dark Moon Faithful. Let's take a look at that covenant. Boosts magic damage. And collect proof of concorp kept. Boosts magic damage. Well... Wait. By process of elimination, are you the sorcerer teacher? Oh, if I could. What am I? Oh, pur purple? 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 Okay, um. Dark Moon Blade. Sorcery! Sorcery! Requires 40 intelligence? Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I think I made the right choice choosing to go here instead of the fire lake. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Um. Wow, okay, we're, we're gonna sit here. We're gonna read all this shit. Oh my god, okay. Grounding crystal. Stabilize your soul, canceling soul instability. Yeah, I, I guess that's a powerful spell. Okay, moon orb. Moon magic. Wait, 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 moon magic? This this came out before Elden Ring did. How, how, how did they know? Okay, um... Oh, a, a sorcery of the Crystal Sage of Farron. Soul charge. After casting ten magic sorceries, your soul becomes charged with power, augmenting the damage of your next spell by 30%. Oh, I like that. It's neat. Okay. Um, so all these require 40 in. Moon wave. A magic dark moon wave at enemies. The sorcerer is a vulgar attempt to replicate the power of Gwendolyn. So a soul charge as well. Moon hail. 45 int. Dark moon orbs that descend upon foes. Soul charge. Gwendolyn's retribution. 50 intelligence. Oh, wow. Is this like a hyped up crystal soul spear, maybe? The full power of the Dark Moon. Wow. Crystal Moon Storm! 55 intelligence, we can still cast it. Release a moon wisp into the air, falling on enemies and erupts into a massive crystal bloom. <gasps> this sounds so cool, and I love that it's all purple. I gotta see these. Homing Dark Moon Soul Mass. <gasps> oh... Moon stream. Oh, purple moon flavored soul stream. 
Oh my god. 55 in. Yeah, I can cast it. Moonblast. There it is. We were just talking about this. This costs 60. One of the primeval spells of the moon sorceries. Dark Moon servant Starte was able to draw power from the moon itself to protect her captain Yorshka. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. God damn. Well, whoa, whoa, what happened to Osiris? Okay, well, this is, this is unceremonious. The Moonlight Greatsword's just right here. Oh, wow. Okay, forget my returning axe. This is what I want to use. <gasps> Moonlight Sword Spear. Oh. <laughs> maybe I want to use that instead, maybe. Dark Moon Longbow. Infiltrator Armor. Increase max FP and SP by 5%. Increase magic damage by 2%. Increase magic damage. Boost intelligence and dexterity by 5%. I could hop that on and cast Moonblast right away. And then Vinheim Archmage Armor. Reduces FP consumption of sorceries by 6%. Increase magic damage. Increase FP regeneration rate. Oh my god, that's going to be on top of the magic sorcery shell I have. Okay, I'm using this set. Archmage Armor. Oh, it looks pretty. Oh, okay, and Dark Moon Ring. Adds three slots for attunement. Oh, now there's nice. Then Infiltrator Signet. What? No friggin' okay. Grants additional stamina and FP regeneration. Adds one additional spell slot. And adds 5% additional magic damage. Oh, the bloodline of Griggs. Oh, that's cute. Griggs was a spell merchant in Dark Souls 1. Passed on to his nephew after the fall of Seath. Aww. Good on you, Griggs. Okay, wow, okay. So, 5, 10, 10, 10, 15, 20, 20 oh, my, oh my god. Okay, I need to farm like 150 Concord caps. I can knock that out in, like, between videos. Oh, my God. Yorshka lady, I love you. I'll be back. Oh, I'm gonna roll up on that fire lake, spewing magic damage? Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So I had my, my fun with aromancy, and now light sorcery. It is absolutely time. For the magic sorcery to show their face. Absolutely. Okay, I see another item. Make our way down carefully. Ah, uh, the painting guardian armor. Deals lightning damage. The sword, I mean. Yeah. Oh, it's it's faith. Also does bleed. That's that's pretty neat. And the armor. Dexterity and faith would expect nothing less. Alright. So it is comforting to know that we can cast every spell we've seen, except for one. I'll definitely boost my intelligence to 60 at some point. But speaking of boosting stats, those weapons, the Moonlight Greatsword... And the sword spear. I need to level up my dexterity or strength for one of those. I think I just need to level up dex three more times for the sword spear. Uh, maybe I should do that next. I absolutely do want a weapon, you know? I mean, okay, actually, with the insane FP regeneration... Ooh, you respawned, hello. With the insane FP regeneration that I'm going to get, 
maybe I could just go without a weapon, really, and just rely solely on spells. Or, like, spells like Farron Flash Sword do exist, could rely on that. I don't know. We'll have to feel things out. Okay, Divine Relic and Roster of Knights. That's an online item. Is it still an online item? Where the hell does it go? Uh... Oh, use item. Well, I'm offline, so... Okay. Hopefully there's a bonfire somewhere near. I want to head back to Firelink. See the new druid spells, too. Oh! Okay. Oh! Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? You're... A brand new NPC? Ah, salutations, Ashen One. Thou art in luck. I have recently acquired several new curios that may pique thy fancy. <laughs> Aiden, the traveling merchant. Wow, brand new NPC. Okay, what do you have to say? I am Aiden of Xena. Xena! Traveling merchant and collector yeah! of rare commodities. Thy purpose is known to me, and I hope that I may, by some small token, vouchsafe thy noble doings. <laughs> Okay, you don't have as much swag as Donald, but this is fine. I am Aiden. Okay, what do you got? Well, you're selling Twinkling Titanites and Scales for twice the price as Grey Rat back in Firelink, so why would I ever? Okay, Marrow Strike. Whoa. A gift from the Grave Lord. Huh. Curse Bear Armor. This looks like Bandit Armor, but... Oh my god, these prices! This guy out of his mind? What are these prices? Oh. Okay, that's that, that hood's pretty good, actually. And the ring. Ring of the Lost. Increases strength, dex, int, faith, and luck by two. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, that one's worth the price. But, uh, okay, Aiden. Maybe you'll find more wares later. I am Aiden. Hope you make Very good on good. your promise to be a traveling merchant. Okay. Neat. Yorshka's chine. Looks like lightning miracles. What's back here? Enemies. This is the best killed with melee. Oh! I did not see that evangelist there. Ah. Okay. Getting up in my face real fast. Don't like that lady. You have a lot of HP. I do not want you to knock me off the cliff. That'd be really bad. Dark Miracle Tome of the Deep. Alright, we got plenty to show off back at Firelink then. Magic Clutch Ring. Is that... Is that the first clutch ring we found? Let's take a look. So it is. Yeah. Okay, so this would annihilate my magic absorption. Actually, not that bad. Increases damage by 15% about the cost of 10% absorption. Yeah, no, that's not a bad trade-off at all. No, sir. I like that. And a Homeward Bone. And... Undead Bone Shard! Ah, oh. Well, now our trip back to Firelink is gonna be super worth it. Excellent. Yeah, let's let's head back home. Merchant's caravan, I see. Okay. So custom for necromancy and druids.
Let's do that right away. And so. Oh. Revel. Was I mistaken? Is it dark sorcery then? Wait, learn miracles of. Oh. Okay, yeah, the. Okay. Welcome, my Dark child. miracles, not magic miracles. Ah, uh, yes, my child. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I actually don't know what's new. Um, Vampiric Grasp, Life Hunt Blade, uh, Blood Feast, Life Hunt Scythe, Vampirism. Let's read this. Uh, causing bleeding to nearby foes, recovering the HP of the caster for success. Oh yeah, I think we saw that. Um, very meager new offerings, but okay. Farewell. And Druidism. So this... The description said most powerful druidism mm -hmm. magic, so... Oh. Uh... God, what, what, what's new? Oh. Looks like Soul Spear. Uh, water Orb, Water Spout. Deluge. Increases damage and defense for you and any nearby summons. Oh, that's nice. Life Force. A strong healing spell for you and nearby summons. Oh, nice. I think that's new. Sewer centipede. Ugh. A giant crab. Giant friend crab. No longer giant enemy crab. Grew and a wretch. God, okay, I know I have a physical melee build. Yes. With no spells. And I also have a miracle build with all the faith stuff, but... God, maybe I, I should really make also an int plus faith character for all this druidism and cryomancy and pyromancy. Like, yeah, I st I'm still thinking about that neat blue spear that we found that was like blue fire. Still thinking about that one. Um, all right, so I already bought the sorcery shell, didn't I? Yeah, Ancy Cyan. Okay, I'll hang on to my greater souls. Did I get a did I get a flask shard by any chance? I don't think I did. No. Alright. Uh did I get new ashes? No. Well, let's level up. Look, I know we had a big chat about how much I need to Increase my vigor. But goddammit, the Moonlight Sword Spear is right there. And also, I need to level Dexterity anyway, because my goal is to get that Aromancy weapon from the Divine Fragments. I absolutely want that, and I need high Dex and Strength for that, so this is not a bad investment whatsoever. Look, I need... I need 2,200 souls to level up enough for the Sword Spear. Should have that on hand. Um, Crestfallen Knight. Oh, bit of overkill, but okay. Excellent. Well, okay, so 10 minutes left in the video. What should I do? Well, we aren't going to get anywhere meaningful if I... Well, eh, what the hell, we can just poke ahead a bit in the level. Did I... did I burn it? I did not. I... wow, I nearly forgot. <laughs> That'll be... annoying. Okay, back to Merchant's Caravan. So in terms of covenants defined in the future, I'm still looking for an alchemist covenant. Like we found the basic one that lets me get the most basic alchemy ingredients earlier. Oh crap, I need cast light. Ah. Yeah, I found, but there's like, uh, for alchemy crafting, 
Yeah, look at this. Mind Elixir need greater alchemy regent. Increase FP recovery until warp or death. I need that, man. Right. Buff applied. Rest. Bring back teleport. Any dogs out here? Yeah. Ooh! Invisible asshole. Of course. There's a dog. Actually, if I can, I should show these dogs off. They have human faces. Okay. Binoculars. Yeah, isn't that horrifying? Low-key one of the most disturbing enemy designs in these games. <laughs> wow, throwing lots of magic stuff at me, eh? I'll gladly take it. Yeah, it would be nice to press through this area with cast light on, because boy, it is dark in here. Yeah, that's... that's a lot of dudes. Let's stay one-handed. I like the sweep of the R1 better. Uh-oh. For a second I thought that would be like bleeding leeches, like from earlier in the game, but no. White is not always leeches in this game, I suppose. Oh! Someone wants to say hello? Dark urn. Alright. Yep, yeah, kill them all. And if they don't approach you, they'll probably catch you at a bad spot later. Oh, where'd you come from? I think you fell. Okay, let's actually clear out the entire ground floor. Before we ascend. Oh! It's raining men. Okay. I wonder if there's gonna be anything good up on the rafters. It wasn't really in the base game. It was kind of all for nothing, honestly. Was that... Was that door always... always there, or...? Yeah, I think it was. I don't see any item glows. Curious, but... Oh, maybe there's a chest, maybe. Maybe. Chest or item or A called it. That's that's real. Sunless talisman. Ah, dark miracles pass. Okay, I'll head up to that top little arc and head outside. Hello? Hmm. No items. Suspiciously sparse, but... Huh. Okay, well, I don't even see any enemies. Probably a lot of more invisible assholes. Oh, I can drop down from here. Onto this precipice. Ah, oh, there's an item. But if I did that... That would put me surrounded by a whole bunch of dudes, probably, so we'll take our time, clear out everything the organic way, come back for that drop. See, that's one of the most important lessons you can learn in a Souls game. Don't put yourself in stupid situations. Oh, wow, that's right, they added a bunch of trees to this lake, didn't they? Huh. I have to watch out for... 
big old beasties lurking in the lake. Oh, I swear to God, if that dragon is out there, man. Ooh, hello. Hell, you know what? Maybe that's where you fight the dragon out in the lake. I don't know. Uh-oh. Okay, that got something's attention. Oh. Ah, this time nice swing jump just a bit. Almost got him though. Okay. Oh, spellcaster. You're a rare variant of these dudes, but not any trouble for me. Let's get that drop item. God, I love teleport. It's so cool. Creighton's armor. Okay. I was wondering, okay, so usually there's an interaction where you can um, be summoned into Cirrus's world and help defend her from Creighton. I guess that might not be in the mod, though. Nice reduces stamina consumption. Increased damage against abyssal enemies. I mean, I never figured Creighton for an Abyss Hunter, but what's she gonna do? Let's not heal. Alright, well, I'm definitely not gonna have enough time for this video to fully explore the lake. But we can take a little peeksy peek. Oh. Yeah, there's a... Oh, jeez. Oh, those sewer centipedes are just skittering around, huh? Now that's not a good time. No, sir. Whoa. Pontiff Knight Kit? Hello. Dark Absorption and Dexterity by one. And also, yep, yeah, same thing. I do like how much support this mod has for melee and magic builds. I Me, mean, I'm leaning more towards pure spellcaster, honestly, but... Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. They're creepy and gross. <laughs> well, if there's gonna be a bunch of enemies lurking and skittering in the woods... That actually does give me hope that we won't fight the boss. Though, I wouldn't put past that dragon to do some strafing runs. But all of that is definitely a problem for future me. Let's head back home. Alright, well... <laughs> We had a bit of a rocky start there at the beginning with that dragon, but we pulled through, had some close calls actually, and managed to explore quite a bit of Irithyll. God, it is so lucky that I decided to go right into Irithyll instead of the Firelink. Yeah, the Dark Moon Covenant. Incredible. Amazing. So, yeah, right after this video ends, I'm going to go back to my spot. So, while I'm talking, I might as well equip my old set. Um... Yeah, wow, I can't wait... ...to... ...see all the stuff that's new to magic sorceries. I've also been buying spells from Orbeck. So, I'll definitely be able to do a lot of testing. Is this... is this right? Yeah. Um... Let's see, I wanted... yeah, that. And of course I equipped the new Dark Moon Faithful ring, uh, Covenant. I think that is my old setup. Yeah, boost physical attacks. I definitely want that on this build. Um... Yeah, so... Next time... I will absolutely 
be decked out in full sorcerer kit. Magic sorcery. And I can't wait. It's going to be breath of fresh air. Though honestly, maybe pulling out the magic stuff isn't the best for Irithyll. Maybe stuff's going to be resistant. Well, no. Everything's dark here, isn't it? I would think that the dark stuff would be resistant to dark. Hmm. So, yeah, I may as well show you my farming method. Let me equip the right spell. All I need is Airblade. So... Wait, what the hell? Oh wow, I messed up my equipment, didn't I? I need a Zal Staff. Or, no, I had Witch Tree Branch. Yes. Alright, this is the setup I have. So, I rusted a bonfire. Make sure the item discovery's on. And I just fire at you. At you. Wait a bit from to walk into the others and at you. Bam. Look how fast this glorious, glorious farm is. Like, I just have to turn my brain off and just sit here. And well, bam. I. The covenant items just pour in. It's fantastic. So, yeah, I'm very excited to become a sorcerer. And I hope you're excited to see me be a sorcerer, too. In the meantime, I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Dark Souls 3 The Convergence. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, I'll catch you next time. So, until then, please take care.